Hello everybody and welcome to Tree Cat Productions. I'm Cameron. I'm Anthony. Oh boy. His name's Colby. That's Ooh Colby. Alright, so first we want to discuss some topics that we had to talk about. And, uh... Alright, Colby, you can start it off. No, I could. Start, right. off, with, start off with TV. Alright, let's put something out here. Alright, so... Our first topic we want to talk about was Infinite Warfare. He thinks... He personally thinks it's a bad deal for a for the entire bundle and everything with remastered Modern Warfare. He thinks it's a bad deal, eighty dollars. If you want Modern Warfare, you have to pay eighty dollars for it. If you just want Infinite Warfare, it's six. Yeah, no, I understand that. You should buy it separate, like Modern Warfare, like remastered. Bucks. Yeah, like yeah. A, just a regular game. Eighty dollars. I know. I understand what you mean. So, are you paying sixty dollars for Infinite Warfare, twenty dollars for Call of Duty? Warfare no, 4? basically you pay eighty dollars for Infinite Warfare and Call of Duty Four. And it, no, it's a bundle. You're yeah. right. It's a call, and Call of Duty Four. It's the bundle, and you. He's saying he wants to just buy the standalone remastered <laughs> version. Sorry, my friend's being weird right now. All right, so I heard that they were they weren't gonna because uh, on the uh, website they were saying that they weren't going. They weren't going to put it out in a bundle, or they would just take Infinite Warfare off the shelves. They got a lot of hate for it too. I don't understand why they would release a remaster. This is what I don't. This is what I don't like about um, who is it? Activision. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Activision and Infinity Ward. I think they're making. Yeah. That's what I don't like about Infinity Ward and Activision. They're or anything about the gaming industry. They're basically they're just hogging money from us. And that's not fair. Hog well, yeah. No, the only just trying to take money from. Do you know how much money I've spent on video games? Sixty dollars for a video game, to put it inside of a console and play. Yeah. I'd rather just buy a software to create my own video games. Well, yeah, that's why people story. But the reason why they're giving us a bundle is because they realize no one wants Infinite Warfare. Hmm. Exactly, and they they're making us pay twenty extra, uh, sixty extra dollars. Yeah, and it's bullshit. They shouldn't have to do that. I feel like that at the, at the when they started out, they're look going at to... the camera. All right, uh, saying was. That they were, um, I feel like that they're just going to, at the, the very start of, like, the production, alright, they're going to, how are you going to, they're going to get rid of Infinite Warfare and they're just going to have two shelves. Have, like, what you want, you want. Because no one's going to pay $80, they're just going to lose all the shelves and it's going to be a waste of time. Well, no. They've people, been working people, on it for a while. People are going to pay $80 and that's what's going to, well, people are going to try what, out Infinite Warfare. People, what I don't understand is why they have to just, they have to keep doing this to our, you know, they have to keep on doing this to our pockets. They want to line their own pockets with our money because they feel it's right that we should buy a game which we've been waiting how many years for now? A remastered version of Modern Warfare? Oh, since it came out. Well, Modern Warfare was probably, arguably, the greatest Call of Duty game. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare is probably arguably, arguably the greatest Call of Duty game. Call of Duty 5 was pretty fun. It was pretty fun, but uh, Call of Duty 4 is, was damn right. good. And um, I don't even know why they need money because last I was looking at the stocks last year about like how much money they made, and they made almost forty-seven million dollars off supply drops in Advanced Warfare. So I I don't like who needs that who needs this extra money for for kids to play Call of Duty, like they're gonna have to ask their mom or if they have their own money to go out and ask their mom to go buy the game that we don't even know if anyone's gonna like. Well. The reason why it's eighty dollars is because they're making us buy two games. They're making us buy Infinite War Infinite Warfare. It's called Infinite Infinite Warfare, right? Yeah, Infinite Warfare. I was gonna say Infinity. Infinite Warfare. <laughs> and it's not fair because if we're gonna have I'll write something down. Yeah. If we're gonna if we're gonna pay eighty dollars, I better get something that I'm, you know, supposed to have a good time with. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so <laughs> what? Did you just it says your name. No. Oh. All right. So, and uh, anything else we need to talk about Infinite Warfare before we switch to the next topic? What is it? The boom. I don't think so. I just think the it's... Modern Warfare portion is only digital. Is it really? Yeah. No, it isn't. Yeah, it's, it's only. They're not having a standalone physical copy of it. Nope. It's only digital. Dang. That's worse. You buy the disc, it's going to come with a code or something. You're probably going to have to buy online, too. You're probably going to have to buy, like, a season pass or something. Oh, that's ridiculous. It's just they, they want to make so much money. 
So, so much money. Infinite Warfare is going to be a bust. Nobody's going to play that. Cut it's, points. Like, it's not like anybody ever buys a game off the shelves. Am I right? Nobody goes and buys Call of Duty to play the campaign. Yeah. They play the multiplayer. And they, even when they start up, they have the stupid menu. It says, uh, I, it says something along the lines of, I strongly think that you should play the campaign first. Yeah. But no, no, people buy it for the multiplayer. Well, some, some people play the campaign only, and then get rid of the game. Well, well what I was thinking about, this isn't related to Internet Warfare, but I was thinking they should make a standalone zombies game. Mm -hmm. I know there's tons of them, like Dead Rising and uh, DayZ, and, but I just feel like they should make a standalone, an Activision standalone zombies game mm -hmm. with the original models for the zombies from, um, what was it, World at War? World of War, the original models and everything. They have all the original levels and stuff. It allows you to make custom maps. Yeah, allows you to make custom maps. You can do everything on that. Is a standalone zombie game would that would sell so great? Because Activision's damn good with zombies. That's the only reason people buy Black Ops now. For zombies, Black Ops Three was just terrible when it came to zombies because they tried to do what is it? Aliens? Uh, I don't know. They did um, uh, Shadows of Evil. Which is a map where you had to like uh, go through it, like you have to open up locks, and there's a bunch of like monsters and shit. Man, that's not like zombies. <laughs> All right, so Colby, I think we we're done with the Call of Duty scene. Colby wanted to talk about a uh, TV bank issue. TV bank scams you? Yeah. All right, tell us what happened. Well, the thing is, if you pay, no, if you have a hundred dollars in your bank account and it goes under a hundred dollars, they charge you a fifteen dollar fee. So if you wait, so if you have a hundred dollars, get rid of. If you let's say you lose five dollars, so you have ninety five. You have to pay ninety five dollars. I mean, you have to pay fifteen dollars. I'm sorry. Yeah, fifteen dollars a month, a year, or just for a just time. one time fee. Fifteen dollars. So what happens if you lose another fifteen dollars? Because of the ninety five going to seven to eighty dollars, would you have to pay another fifteen dollars? No. If it went back up over a hundred, then it went back under. Yeah, but what if you don't pay the fee? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. It's a TV bank. If, if you don't pay the fee, do you just like lose your bank account? Wait, I never really so understood. If you lose your bank account, do you lose all the money in it? No. Like, if it's like, oh, I don't want a bank account anymore. Like, do you have to withdraw all the money and then, yeah, that makes sense, anyway. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Don't part of me. That's a good question, yeah. though. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's a good question. I want to talk about this topic right now. Yeah, me too. No, we're not going to talk about that. All right. All right. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I didn't even notice this. Air calculator. Huh? Air calculator. Nice. <laughs> so, what, that, what, that, what was that question again? It was something about, like, if you lose your bank account, you lose your money? I'm saying, like, if, let's say, you don't want a bank account anymore, does it automatically send you your money? Or do you, like, uh, or does it stay in there? Or That's a good question. Like, I I don't feel like if you have, like, a say, like, 10, 10 grand inside of a bank account, and you said, I don't want a bank account anymore, I think they have to, I think you have to pay them a certain amount to get rid of it. Yeah. Possibly. Because laws protect your money. Alright. Any, any I know, want to talk about anything? No. What about TV, TV Bank or anything like that? No scams? I'm TV Bank. Well, thank you guys for watching. What? Two topics. Right. Where did, well, we have nothing else to talk about here. Yeah, why don't we uh, talk about Dreamcast Cat Production? You can do that too. Alright, we can just cut that part out. Alright. What? Alright, and say, what do you want to say? All right, uh, let's talk about a little bit about what we are. Tree Cat Productions is just a little... Tree Cat Entertainment. No. It's a we do whatever we want with it. Start off with the clap and then go. All right, what, what is Tree Cat Productions? I have to ask you because I've never, never had that information released to myself. It's basically like a network or group. We just make videos. So, like... Funhouse, you know Funhouse on YouTube, and like yeah. the Yugs cast, just a bunch of people. Yeah. Yeah, this is probably like less about business, and more about videos. All right. So, feel we should make. How how often do you think we'll be uploading? I don't know. Probably somewhere around the uh, once a week or so. Maybe once a week? Maybe, maybe like once maybe. every like Wednesday or Friday? Something like that. Alright. Alright, well... I can't see that. I'm thinking... 
Okay, since uh, since so this is our first video, <laughs> and we've had a lot of stuff to talk about. <laughs> Goodbye, Thank everybody. You guys, thank you guys for watching. Uh, Have a great day. Well, I love you all. We'll, we'll, see, we'll see you next time. 9-11.